find the center of the mass. To find the center, for example, of our lamina. We need to find the coordinates x bar and y bar that represent the center or balancing point of that lamina or the mass that we have. How do we do that? We're going to use double integral to actually calculate these coordinates. So x bar is defined as very well. We have to do a little bit of algebra. One divided by m. What was m? m is the mass that you calculated previously times the double integral of the density function times x. So x times the density function dA over region. And y bar, the second coordinate, the y coordinate, is equal to 1 over m. Again, m is the mass, the double integral of y times the density dA over region D. If you remember the formula for moments, this is the moment with respect to y, and this is the moment with respect to x. Let's take a look at these illustrations. So we're, our goal is to find a balancing point for our lamina or the mass thin layer that we have. We need our point with x coordinate and y coordinate, which is your balancing point. And if you move from this balancing point, as you can see, you lose the balance of your lamina or this thin layer. For example, question says, What do we have here? Find the mass and center of mass of a triangular lamina. Find m and x bar, y bar, the balancing point of triangular the lamina with vertices. Zero, zero, one, zero, and zero, zero. And suppose uh, the density function is given as a row of x and y, which is equal to one plus three x plus one. Here we go. So let's try to visualize our region. Zero, zero, one, zero, and you have zero, two. Let's just move this a little bit up. Zero, two. Well, this is your triangular region. Let us call it D. So as you can see, your X is bounded between zero and one. What about your y? y is bounded between 0 and this decreasing y. 2 minus 2x. So let us find the mass first. Then we start working with um, x coordinate and y coordinate. So to find mass, mass is equal to the double integral of your density, which is 1 plus 3x plus y, 
dA, your x range is between 0 to 1, and your y is in between 0 to 2 minus 2x. Here we go. So here you have dy, the inner integral, and dx, the outer integral. M is equal to 0 to 1. So if you take this integral with respect to y, it means that you have y plus 3xy plus y squared over 2. And y ranges between 0 to 2 minus 2x. Then you take the integral with respect to x. So it's just simple substitution, and we're not worried about zero because if we plug in zero for all of these, it's going to be zero. So m is equal to integral zero to one, two minus two x plus three x, two minus two x plus, and here you have a half, two minus two x squared, then dx. So if I factor out four here, I get two outside the parentheses. Let us just distribute these. So here I have this guy here. M is equal to integral zero to one, two minus two x plus six x minus six x squared plus two. Okay, so here I have negative two x, negative four x plus two x squared, then dx. Let's try to simplify this as much as we can. We have 2 and 2, which is 4. Then I have negative 2x. I get 4x. I can cancel out these two. And I have negative 4x squared. So this integral, negative 4x squared, with respect to x is equal to 4x minus 4 thirds x cubed 0 to 1 4 minus 4 thirds which gives me 8 over 3. This is your mass. You found the mass, so mass goes on the denominator, then you have to do the calculation for the rest of mx and my. So m is equal to 8 over 3, so I flip that, 3 over 8, 3 over 8. Now these calculations. Let us find m of y first. So I have to multiply this by x. Okay. I won't be changing any uh, inside integral, except that uh, I have to distribute x. So my m, not the m, and y, and some y, is equal to integral 0 to 1. And here I have my x, 2 minus 2x plus 3x, 2 minus 2x plus... 2, 1 minus x squared dx. So m y, m sub y is equal to 0 to 1. So let's see. It was 2 minus 2x plus 6x minus 6x squared plus 2 minus 4x plus 2x squared. So again, I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just redoing the integral, but now I'm multiplying it by x. So 2 plus 2, which is 4. So here you have negative 4x, positive 4x, and you get negative 4x squared. So x times 4 minus x squared. And dx. So here you have the integral. 0 to 1, 4x minus x cubed dx. This is equal to 2x squared minus x to the 4th over 4 
0 to 1, this is equal to 2 minus a 4, 7, 4. So this integral is 7, 4. Twenty-one over thirty-two is your x-axis. This is 4x. Okay. 1 minus x squared. So this 4 goes outside. Okay. You have 4 times x squared over 2 minus x to the fourth over 4 is 0 to 1. So you get 4, a half minus a four, which is four times a fourth, which is one. So you get three over eight times one. This is your first coordinate, three over eight. Now we have to do the calculation for the second integral y times the density. So now I'm just changing this. But note that here inside my integral, I have dy, so it changes everything for me, m of x. is equal to y times. So I have to distribute this first, <coughs> then take the integral. <coughs> so my m of x is equal to 0 to 1, 0 to 2 minus 2x. And here I have y plus 3xy plus y squared dy dx, which is equal to 0 to 1. Now, let us start taking the integral. This is a half y squared plus 3 halves xy squared plus a third y cubed. y ranges between 0 to 2 minus 2x dx. So we have to uh, substitute 2 minus 2x, and here we get mx equals to 0 to 1, a half. So here you have 2 minus 2x squared, 3 halves x, 2 minus 2x squared, plus a third, 2 minus 2x squared to the third. This is x one and dx. Very well. This is, let's try to simplify it as much as we can. Here you have 4, 1 minus x, and here you have another 4, 1 minus x. So here I can factor out 8, so I get 8 thirds, 8 over 3, 1 minus x, okay. So let's see what do we have here. We have the integral 0 to 1, 2. I'm going to factor out 1 minus x squared and a 2. And this is 6. 6x. Six and here I have, okay. So if I factor out 2 times 1 minus x squared, I left with just 1. Try to simplify it as much as you can. 1, I get 3x. And here I left with 4 thirds, 1 minus x. Then I take the integral with respect to dx. So my mx is equal to integral 0 to 1. I'm going to write down 2 outside. 1 minus x squared. And here I have 1 plus 3x plus 4 thirds, so minus 4 thirds x dx. Okay. 
this is equal to. Let us combine these. We can factor out a third as well. And here you have three, you have nine x, get rid of the denominators. So here you have seven, and here you have five x. Very well, we have to write this in expanded form. 